Hey friends, it's Miss Griffin. We are back in Baby Sean's room and we are going to read a story together. I'm so excited about this story because we have Easter coming up and spring break. Um, and this story is a fun book called The Easter Bunny's Assistant by Jan Thomas. Now, notice there's only one name on the cover of this book. Do you remember what that means? That's right. It means that she's the author and the illustrator. T take out your whisper turtle. Do you remember your whisper turtle? Take him out and tell your whisper turtle what an author is and what an illustrator is. Tell him now. Okay, put your turtle away. Great job. An author is the person who writes the words the illustrator is the person who draws pictures. All right, so we're going to read The Easter Bunny's Assistant. And at the end, we're going to do what good readers um, do, and it's called Make Connections. And we're going to retell parts of the story, okay? The Easter Bunny's Assistant. Here's the title page, The Easter Bunny's Assistant by Jan Thomas. Oh, I love this book already. Do you notice the speech bubbles? So we can tell which character is talking. Hello, I am the Easter Bunny and this is my assistant, Skunk. Today, we will show you how to make beautiful Easter eggs. Step one, hard boil the eggs. I'm so excited. Who said they're excited? That's right, the skunk did. The skunk said that he's excited. Hard boil, what does that mean? Pull out your whisper turtle and tell him what hard boiled eggs are. Okay, put your turtle down. That's right, hard boiled eggs is when you put eggs in a pot and you put them down in the water and they cook up and they get really hard. So when you drop them, they don't break. Uh, skunk? What does that smell? Oh, sorry. It happens when I get excited. Please try to control yourself. Hmm. Step two, make dye for the eggs. Oh, look at the beautiful colors. It's so like the rabbit. Ugh. Sorry. Come here, Sean. You want to hear the story? Yeah. Come sit right here. Step three. Decorate the eggs with crayons. Oh, I love decorating. It's so... Uh-oh. What do you think he's going to do next? Pull out your whisper turtle and tell him. <laughs> That's right. Let's see. Let's see if your prediction's right. So pleasant. And exciting. Look at their expressions on their faces. Can you make an expression like the rabbit? Pretend like you can smell that smell. Oh. Pretend like you're the skunk. You can't help it. Step four, remove skunk from the room. Push if necessary. Hey! Step five, dye the egg. Knock, knock. What does skunk want to do? That's right, he wants to come back inside. Poor skunk. Now you have beautiful Easter eggs. Knock, knock, knock. Should I let him in? Oh, I'm sorry, let me reread that. Should I let him help me hide the eggs? You think Skunk would like that? You sure? What do you guys think? And what did they decide to do at the end? 
That's right. Rabbit was so kind. He's letting Skunk help him. And what did he do to solve the problem? What did Rabbit do? He put a clip on his nose so he doesn't have to smell that smell. That was kind of Rabbit. Here are the Easter Bunny's directions for making beautiful eggs. Now, before I post this, or before you look at that, I want to do what good readers do, and that's make connections. So, have you ever made Easter eggs before? How did you make the eggs? Let's think back to the story and think about how to make Easter eggs. We're going to use this flow map to help us. Come here, Sean. Come here. Come right here. Thank you. Okay, so what did, what did um, the Easter Bunny have to do first to make the Easter eggs. Come here, stay right here. Think back to the story and decide what is it that he had to do first. Yes. That's right. First, here. First, Easter Bunny boiled the eggs. Remember, he has, you have to cook them up so that if they fall, they don't open up. So first, he made, he boiled the eggs. What did he do next? Come here. Come here, baby. Think about it. What did he do next? That's right. After he made the eggs, he made the dye so that he could um, color his eggs. So what did he do after that? Easter Bunny and Easter Bunny put skunk outside and then he dyed his eggs. Remember, that was an important part in the story. Um, the rabbit was getting so, or the bunny was so tired of that smell, he put him outside. And then he dyed the eggs. And what did he do last? Come here, Sean. Come here, let the friends see. There are a few right there in that The last thing he did, that's right, was decorate the eggs with a crayon. You're funny. Okay, so now what I want you to do is there's an activity under this link, and you're going to make your own flow map. You'll find this piece of paper, and I want you to think about what happened first. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. First. What happened next, then, and last, okay? And then I'll post a picture of how you can make your own Easter eggs when you're done and really practice. All right, guys, come here, Sean. Let's tell the friends bye. Say thanks for watching. Say bye. Tell them bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>